మరి బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ సిస్టర్స్ we wonder how god selects us many a time we think we are very talented we have gifted why can't god select us and do something out of us we expect god to do something through us because we think we are eligible worthy for that because we are so prayerful we are so talented we are very good and we are so holy so there are so many reasons why we think we are eligible to be selected by god to do some ministry or to do something great and something powerful so this is how we do we think but god looks at us differently not the way we look at there is an incident that we read in the bible we will be shocked to see the way the lord selects people god selects the people not the way we select the people so let's read this word of god judges book of judges chapter 7 verse 2 once gideon was going for a uh, battle he selected the best of all the people he selected so many thousands of people to lead the battle and gideon was so happy that he has got so many soldiers then suddenly the lord said to gideon the troops with you are too many for me to give me the midianites into their hand you are too many i don't need so many soldiers i don't need so many soldiers sometimes we think just because we have so many people with us we can do great things it's not necessary if god is with you not many people are needed so we can do great things if god is with us so the lord himself said the troops with you are too many for me to give the midianites into there if if you depend on the number of people and followers then it need not be a successful one sometimes not many people but only limited people can do great things if god is with them so god said it is too many to uh, for me to give the midianites into their hands israel would only take the credit away from me then you will say because of all these people we are successful you will will not give glory to god you will take all glory to yourself therefore the lord says you will the israel would only take the credit away from me saying my own hand has delivered me sometimes we think okay i'm very good i'm talented i'm very good in singing preaching and maybe i'm very good in intellectually very strong i'm very fast and all these qualities i have therefore lord you select me then the problem is if you are successful you will be proud of yourself because you are already aware of your talents therefore surrender your talents in the hands of god and say lord without you i'm nothing without you i can do nothing i'm not able to do anything without you lord i need you always so this is how we need to always think let's read verse 3 let's read verse 3 now therefore proclaim this in the hearing of the troops whoever is fearful and trembling said there are so many powerful people anybody who is frightened and fearful and trembling let them return home thus gideon sifted them out 22000 people returned how to so many 22000 there were 32000 people but now 22000 left and 10000 remained and then was for then god said the troops are still too many even 10000 is too many for me the lord said take them down to the water and i will sift them out for you there when i say this one shall go with you he shall go with you and when i say this one shall not go with you he shall not go with you so this is how god said and gideon to call the people to the river so he brought the troops down to the water and the lord said gideon all those who lap the water with their tongues as said dog laps you shall put to one side all those are licking water and taking water just like dogs drink water take them especially normally no proper human beings will drink like that if you go to water normally some people maybe put it in the glass and drink maybe take it in the water uh, hand and drink because there are so many ways to drink 
no one put their head out inside the water and lick and drink except dogs so god is watching them and said the one who is those people who are drinking like dogs select them you shall put to one side all those who kneel down to drink putting their hands to their mouths you shall put to the other side and then verse 6 the number of those that lapped was 300 only 300 people out of so many 10000 people only 300 people drank like a dog all the others were decent people they were all drank like human being so these 300 people all the rest of the troops knelt down to drink water was seven we read then the lord said to gideon with the 300 that lapped i will deliver you and give the midianites into your hand let all the others go to their homes so god selected these 300 my dear brothers and sisters because these 300 not intellectually strong not so brilliant though not so educated not so uh, having proper common sense so god knew these are the people who will if they come out victorious everyone will glorify god because it is not because of their merit it is only because of the glory of god they are successful because Otherwise, if you look at them, they are not the eligible people. No, they are not worthy. They are not powerful. They are not strong. They are not intellectually sound. And therefore, God selected them. My dear brothers and sisters, if you want God to select you, be humble. We have nothing to be proud of. And we have nothing to boast about. Let's examine our conscience and see if there is anywhere you feel that you are capable. Then the Lord, tell them, tell yourself, Without God, I'm nothing. Apart from God, apart from Jesus, I'm nothing.